So going back to so Easy E, mm -hmm. you're around them. Mm -hmm. So is that how you met Snoop? Yes. So Tracy, um, you know her and Eric were on and off, but she's good friends with, of course, Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. So they were still keeping contact. So. Dr. Dre's leaving death row, I assume, at this point. I mean, not death row, he's leaving Ruthless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So going back to, so Easy e mm -hmm. you're around them. Mm -hmm. So is that how you met Snoop? Yes. So Tracy, um, you know, her and Eric were on and off. But she's good friends with, of course, Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. So they were still keeping contact. So... Dr. Dre's leaving death row, I assume, at this point. I mean, not death row, he's leaving Ruthless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're out, we're out over there by the Beverly Center, and I'm hanging out with Tracy and a girl named Carla, and we go meet up, up with, um, what do you call it, Dre and some of his friends. In walks Suge and this skinny boy, Snoop, and nobody would have ever recognized them. I mean, they were nobody at this point. You right. know? Of course. They weren't nobody, and we just all hung out. And everybody, the people were flirting, doing things, but I was in the corner doing my homework. I was at Cal State Northridge, and Chug took notice to me not joining in the party, smoking right. and partying and popping. I was in the corner, because I had my oceanography homework due the next day, and I, had, I wanted to hang out, but I had to get it done. Mm -hmm. So he took note of that. So the evening went on, and I needed to get home, and everybody was probably high, drunk, so Suge was like, where you live at, girl? Where you live at? And I'm like, I live in Baldwin Hills. He said, all right, I'm gonna give you a ride home. Your friends, they too drunk and high. It was, so, they were partying and I needed to get home. So he gave me a ride home and he's like, you know. He didn't look very intimidating? No, I mean, he, nice, nice shirt, you know. No, because I, I'm from, I'm, I'm in Baldwin Hills You're at this point. To. So okay. Culver City family moves to Baldwin Hills. So okay. I'm in the black Beverly Hills okay. at this point. So no, he looks like every Everybody typical else. guy okay. around the neighborhood. He gives me a ride home and he takes notice. He said, so what were you studying? Whatever, he says, I admire that. You know, you took sort of been studying and we became friends at that moment. I think he just took, I wasn't flirting, I wasn't hanging out. There was a lot of guys in the room and quite frankly, I wasn't interested in them, you know? Mm -hmm. So Snoop ends up, I mean, we connect again at some point, but Snoop hooks me up with his cousin he, and Daz is not, he hasn't, he's not down here yet. Daz's mother, um, or Roberts University. She was Aileen, uh, right? Yeah, Name Aileen. 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 I love that woman. Rest in peace. That woman was good to me. Um, she was out there, minister, doing you know raising her son in the Bible Belt of Oklahoma. Moved, got out of Long Beach, and said, "I gotta take him away from this. I need right. him to be raised somewhere else." They settled in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And Daz is down there. He learned the music. He learned the keyboards. He learned everything down there. He was a part of the church band. He, it was every, the foundation was made down there with mm -hmm. music for him. At a young age, but really down there with all the instruments. Um, Snoop gets a big deal. You know, that deal comes, uh, the, the soundtrack comes. He's all over TV and all the family, they come in from everywhere now. That's with Death Row, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it, it was kind of when Death Row was forming, because they weren't. They were forming. They, they were forming at that point. Yeah. Daz was Snoop's most, uh, you know, the, that was the cousin, but he was talented. Mm. There was nobody else talented like Daz. And he from, probably was level-headed. That's what he yeah. was looking at, too. Yeah. Snoop, I mean, he could have brought anybody. He has a big family, but he brought his cousin Daz. Daz was rapping, making music down there, mm -hmm. and he brought his cousin along. Wow. And it's and good. so when you seen Dad, as soon as you seen him, you're like, I love this guy. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get to it. <laughs> what did you what did you have? What was the first thing he said to you when he saw you? Well, I'm walking in, so I went, I'm 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 a, I'm a break down the whole okay, the mm -hmm. Me mm -hmm. and Tracy hop out her easy had got her this Acura legend. It was on some barbed rims. This that's what I had. Yeah, oh, when God. I met we, her, I, yeah, he, that's what she had. He, he hated it. Oh he hated God. it. We I got her something. Oh, I love that. Y'all killed it. Oh, my God. We had our Dooney and Burks on. We had our diamond earrings on, stepping out the car. We was fly out. You want to meet my dude. They done hooked this up. They done set it up. Oh, they set it up for so you. They you. They set it up. We, we coming to over. Did you see a picture of him before you, no. actually? So you didn't Snoop even know? Snoop just said, because there's no internet. There's nothing at this point. Okay. So he looks like me. I'm like, he looked like you, Snoop. He got curly hair, Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Snoop's hair was fly. I'm like, uh -huh. so 
I walk in and have this like your man is here. You're, they're teasing me. Dr. Dre, your man is here. It, it was a big deal that we're hooking up. And I'm like, why? <laughs> so I seen him and, and, you know, Daz gets mad at me. You, you say I wasn't cute then. Daz, you were cute, but you weren't my, it, it, you didn't engage me. I was a fly girl at that point. <laughs> and, you know, you were just, you. I you had were to, shy. Yeah. You were shy. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know what they always say, well, you were too beautiful, you intimidated me. I just expected, I, I don't, you know, my eyes were, you know, I'm, I'm bowing hills and I see a lot and I've been around a lot. I know guys that like me. I know big drug dealers were liking me at that point. But then I was like, hmm. So I, I was kind of mad. Mm -hmm. I, to say it the least, I was... It was a condescending, it, it was an anticlimactic event. Yeah. She thought it was going to be more than what it ended up being. And, was and you know, he just... Granted, you know, he just moved down here and, you know, he didn't, he didn't necessarily have the finer things of life right. at that moment. You know, I was working and fly and doing my thing and I was like, absolutely not. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.